draw all the constitutional isomers of C4H8. Constitutional isomers are molecules that have the same formula but different structure and different names. So all of my isomers here will have four carbons and eight hydrogens, but they will all be different molecules. The first thing that you can do is you can calculate degrees of unsaturation to figure out how many double bonds or rings your molecule has. So for degrees of unsaturation, we can do two times the number of carbons plus two, plus the number of nitrogens minus hydrogens minus halogens over two. Let's do this for this simple molecule it has only carbons and hydrogens. So we have two times, we have four carbons, so two times four plus two, nitrogens we don't have, halogens we don't have. So all we need to do is we need to subtract hydrogens, which is eight, and divide it by two, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 2 is 10, minus 8 is 2, over 2 is 1. What does 1 degree of unsaturation mean? That means that my molecule has to have either a double bond or a ring. So I will keep that in mind as I'm drawing my molecule, and you can always check how many carbons and hydrogens you have in order to make sure that you're drawing the correct molecule. My strategy will be to start with the longest carbon chain and I will then shorten the chain. I will include the double bonds and then I will get to rings. So first, for four carbons, I could have a four carbon chain like this and I know that I must have one double bond. So my double bond could be either between first and second carbon or it could be here. These two molecules are different because here my double bond is between first and second carbon and here my double bond is in the middle between second and third. If I would draw my double bond here, it would be the same as drawing it here because I would just start numbering from the right end instead of the left. So these are the only two options for, attach for putting the double bond on the four chain molecule. Now, what else could I do? Next, I could make my carbon chain, shorten my carbon chain by one, so I could have three carbons, and I could add the extra carbon to the middle carbon, and there I have two methyl propane, so I have a new molecule, and now I can add my double bond. I could add my double bond to either of these carbons and it would be the same so that's another constitutional isomer that i can have i started with four carbons now i have three carbons and what i'm going to do next is i will move on to if i will move on to rings so i will begin by drawing again the biggest ring and then going to the smallest ring so now let's go ahead and go through some rings the first molecule i could have is a four carbon ring cyclobutane i have used all of my carbons and you will see that the number of hydrogens is correct as well because every carbon will have two hydrogens eight so that's one of the constitutional isomers i can have I could also have a cyclopropane, three carbon ring, and I could add my carbon on any, my extra carbon, because I use three carbons, I have one carbon left, I could add it on any of these carbons, for example here, and that's another molecule that I can make.